Okay, this is a third video about the LG FCB upgrade kit for the Behringer FCB 1010 MIDI controller. The previous videos covered the actual upgrade installing the electronics and in this video we will just test the results, use the editor and um, look at the different possible configuration modes for the floorboard. So let's power the device plug in the USB connector and make a connection with the editor. We go to MIDI port selection. I have a large number of MIDI ports here. Not yet the little giant port, so I have to do a refresh first. And now I have three extra ports, little giant, port 2 and port 3. The third port is the one which is used for communication with the editor, so I have to choose three both the MIDI in and MIDI out. Uh, the second port is not used and the first port is the port to which all messages are sent when you click foot switches. Those messages are sent to the MIDI out connector or to the USB connector or to both. So here we are going to use this MIDI USB port to monitor the, uh, the sent messages. Now let's create the first setup. The setup assistant allows you to do that in just a few steps. Here you see the different configuration modes which are supported. We will run through all of them one by one. So let's start with the regular setup. You can choose up to 100 banks of 10 presets. Let's stick to 10 banks for now. Here we specify the layout of the banks. Well, actually you can specify a different layout in each of the banks if you want. Within this uh, wizard we just stick to one general layout. For instance, uh, for those who know the UNO software, this is a typical Stonebox setup where you have five presets per bank and then five global Stoneboxes. Um, here we have more possibilities, so for instance let's make one bank specific stone box which means that you can have a different effect in each of the banks and let's make one of the switches a momentary effect now the wizard will create a number of presets very simple presets with just a single program change message or control change message in case of stone boxes of course the it allows you to do much more, uh, have a lot of MIDI messages in each preset, but the wizard keeps things very simple just to have something to start from really quickly. Also a general uh, function for the expression pedals to control change messages which you can set up here, and that's it. So what's the result? You see here the layout with the five presets per bank five or four stone boxes and one momentary effect. And then when I go up and down the banks you will see that the stone boxes are global, stay the same except for the first one which is different for each bank. If I click the foot switch in the simulator here you will see what the MIDI message is which will be sent for that preset. So down to bank 0, first preset sends program change 1, second one sends program change 2 and so on. And for the stone boxes of course we have two states. When we activate it, control change 0 at value 127. When we click it again, same control change number but with value 0. Same for the other stone boxes. And then we have momentary effect which is sending a message when you click it and sending another message when you release the switch. Again a control change message with values 127 and 0. Very straightforward setup. Now let's send it to the floorboard and see if it actually does what we expect it to do. Click this icon to make a connection. It detects the LG FCB kit version 100 firmware. 
So now we can download the setup to the floorboard like this. And now we can start monitoring the messages sent by the floorboard by activating the MIDI monitor uh, window here. I click this one and the USB MIDI port is now uh, monitoring the MIDI traffic. Let me press first button. Okay, we have program change one, second button, program change two, and, and so on. If I select Stonebox on or off, on or off, exactly the same as what the simulator tells us. We can also check the expression pedals. This one should send control change 7 and this one control change 11. If I rock the pedal, okay, I see 7 and 11 indeed. So everything seems to work the way we expected. I go bank up. There's any pre presets and you see the corresponding program changes. Let's check. Bank 3, this one and this one, indeed 17 and 18. So everything's fine. Let's create a new setup. This time I'm choosing the second configuration mode, which is direct select mode. This mode is also available in the stock Behringer FCB1010. So let's quickly show you what it does. In this mode you can select any out of 100 presets simply by typing a number. For instance, 01 is preset 1, which sends, in our case, as a result of the uh, wizard, sends a program change 1. 02 is a second preset which sends program change 2. Of course you can send whatever number of MIDI messages you want, but that's the simple setup which was created by the wizards. Uh, 99. Any of the 100 presets can be directly selected by two foot clicks. Let's send this one to the board and check if it works the way we expect. Indeed, 23 is shown on the display and in the monitor we see that program change 23 is being sent 77 whatever this is direct select mode maybe more interesting is yet another type of setup which we call the direct select mode with 20 stomps let me select that one and show you what it does in this mode you get direct uh, access to 20 stone boxes 10 in this bank and 10 in a second bank which you toggle by clicking the up switch so we have here stone box 11 to 20 and I click again stone box 1 to 10 and apart from that again we have direct select of 100 presets in order to select a preset now you first click the down switch and then you type the number again down 22 to select a preset and then just directly click any of the stop boxes to activate effects in this bank and in the other bank if I switch back to the first bank you still see the state of the three stomps um, activated as before down and a number to select a different preset let's download this example and test it on the floorboard itself so I press down and any number to select a preset down another number and you see the program change over here and then just click any of the stomp boxes to switch them on or off and then we have the up switch to toggle between the two stomp banks and you see 
sorry for the autofocus, and you see a plus sign which shows you're in the second bank. Switch back to the first bank and the plus sign disappears. And you can again select those stomps and select any preset with a down and a number. That's it. By the way, you can clear the monitor view by simply clicking here and enabling it again. And you can start from a, an empty window. Time for the last setup type, which is direct bank select mode. In this mode you can directly select any out of 100 banks by clicking the down switch followed by the two digits of that bank and then you can start using the bank like in regular mode. So let's show that. We keep a simple preset layout for all banks. So I'm in the first bank, I can select any preset and I can go to another bank by clicking down 88 or down 23 and in that bank again select presets until I say down 49 or whatever and then as one extra we have the up switch which toggles between the current bank and one global bank with well, it can be with 10 presets or effects which you use all the time again the up switch to go back to the last bank and the down plus two digits to select a different bank. Let's download it and try out. Down 12 and I have bank 12 and I select any preset. Indeed I see program change 121 and so on. So we have a total of 100 banks of 10 presets, 1000 presets, plus the 10 global presets, let's say. If I press the up button, I see the display shows DB, direct bank, and I have those 10 presets which I want to access quickly from any other bank. I switch back to the last bank, I can do down 78 to jump to bank 78 and so on. That was the last of the four available configuration modes and that also concludes this video. Thanks for watching.